Hey guys, Stealth here and welcome back to Wargame Red Dragon. More ranked today, and this time around, I had a coach. I have the legendary Lord Pi here, and he's going to be helping me by telling me what to do. Well, not, not strictly what to do, but pointing out mistakes or hinting at things that I could be doing wrong. That's the way we discuss the coaching. Um, I gotta say, some of these guys, they're, especially for example, Victor, uh, he's still young. I'm not sure how old Lord Pi is, but he seems to be in the college age. These guys are great coaches, and I hope that they take that skill set with them later through life and careers, because good coaches are hard to find. But for example, Lord Pi opened with the question, how extensively would you like me to coach you? Which I thought was fantastic, and already a good show about how good of a coach he is. Anyway, um, enough buttering up Lord Pi and Victor, here is the gameplay. Hope you enjoy. Another private. Yeah, this is the one we've been talking about. Yeah, so what So what uh, parts of Bravo do you want to go for? Uh, I want to take this. So that's going to be the opener with a couple of fabs. I'm going to try the AMX 10RC move again over there. Good move. Uh, probably one Legionnaire over there. That seemed to be enough to hold anything for the moment. Mm -hmm. uh, reconnaissance over to left to Charlie. Yeah, like I put... In Charlie, I'd put um, at least an AMX-10, um, an AT gem, and then maybe some infantry. Okay. Um, oh, you have the AMX-25s uh, or whatever they're called, the 25-point units, right, in the recon tab? The 1390s? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I really like those. Short-range encounters only. Okay. How comfortable are you with Tiger starts? Iffy. Um, last game it worked. But I think I'm 50-50 for that maneuver. Okay. What I do like to um, do here on the main road, so this one is to open with a couple of RCs and or uh, Martyr 2s to try and get the Panzer Grenadiers in there or there if I can grab it. So going for the far defense marker at the start is going to be kind of going to be kind of rough. Mm -hmm. What I would do in the close one, put, put like an AT gem in recon. Yeah. Um, because you want to base, you want to lock down that lane so he can't use it. Got it. Um, and then you su you kind of see um, to the left of the main road where those two roads meet, like mm -hmm. right where, right um, a little lower and to the left. Yeah, fast fast move there to get on that road when you move in, so you don't expose your size. So Got it. For your side. And then for the town legionnaires, um, two commander para. If I can get an ATGM in here, that'd be great. But this block over here sometimes limits line of sight. I found. Yeah, like we don't worry about getting an ATGM in there at the start. Um, just worry about actually holding the getting, getting into town itself. Yeah. Um, also, when you get when you get a chance um, on your on your right side, take out t change the triple stack to a double stack of AMX tens. Okay. And then instead, you, um, put an infantry squad there. That way, you don't get flanked by accident. Where? So um, put one farther to the right? No, no, no. The double stack goes where the triple stack was going. Okay, but yeah. put an infantry squad with it as well. Right. That way, if he doesn't send something through Crescent Forest, like even one Chasseur is enough. You just want you just want to know if you need to move your AMX times is all. Yeah. And then I generally put a 1390 over there. Yeah, that's fine. Alright, 215 like, I I left. I tend not to put anything there at the start, um, mm -hmm. but if you want to, that's totally fine. What would you do with the other 200 points? Um, well, you don't have any tanks. Correct. So I do that, and, and before that, I would also replace the Jeep CV with the infantry CV. Because um, you, like, I, where, wherever it is, you just don't want to get someone doing some random arty, and then, oh, your CV's gone, and you can't spawn units. Yeah, true. So you would get a tank for Bravo? Yeah, like you could go double two a one. Um, if you have, if you're comfortable with your super heavy micro, you could go Leclerc. Or if you're just, if you don't think you have to go up that high, you could go two a fours. I mean, you have a so many AMX tens as a two a four is probably fine. Mortar, and now get uh, two chest source um, as kind of some meat shields for the tank. Yeah. Okay. So. 
in so in the opener, make sure to have that main group fast move towards the area we talked about, that where the rows intersect, this yeah, one. right there. Yeah. So they get on that side road, then have the move into Bravo. Yeah. Um. Make sure the mortar stays there, and then micro everything else. Don't forget to unload the CV. That's a good point. Might be early days to get the Legionnaire over there, but... Okay, Ooh. So we're playing... Ryujo. I'm oh, sorry, Ryu. Warships. Dragons. Oh, it's six? So, hey, Shit, don't worry move. About, don't, don't worry about that, just get into town. Contact here. Amex 10s are gonna have a field day here. Kiyomarashiki. So pull that Crotel back. It's like this is why we want the Milan there, that to make sure that he can't push through. Yeah. Getting more of Foxtrot than expected. So he's strong here, he's strong here, he's weak there. Mm -hmm. Don't go in right away. Um, you can send the Amex 10, but keep the ATGM squad in your own two-pointer. That's a lot of tanks. It's the cheap ones, mostly. I mean, hey, if he wants to feed, he can do that. Good. Kill. Nice. Good job. Good job. Don't float. Gun tank. Yeah, be good. Okay, so what we want to do now is we want to secure the middle. Mm -hmm. And we're going to use the middle as a giant road into his two-pointer so we can attack it from any direction we want. We're going to okay. cap his two-pointer and then we're going to AFK the whole game while we take like plus five. <laughs> All right. So to lock down that lock down that time, make sure zone him out with the AT gems. Get a, get some legion and recon, and then start funneling things into that his two pointer. I'm coming. Yeah, there we go. Damn it. It's fine. You have, you have another one. We have another one coming. It's not the end of the world. He seems to be plain happy though. So what should we do? More into here. Yeah. Uh, we need anti-plane A, not anti-helo. So get Rollins. That gun tank and anti-air is a prime target. Mm-hmm. He bought a Cobra, especially to kill that. Yeah, he's panicking. You're in an awesome position right now, if you're, if you're not already completely aware. Like, it's... Um, this is a dream position. Mm-hmm. Nice. That's his interior dead. Alright, so once we take once we have this town consolidated, let's work on like, getting a CV and getting that tick going. We don't really care all that much about the one pointers right now. Right. Just so long as we don't get pushed in our spawn. Good, good positioning. The Amex 13 is almost at base. I would keep it there for now. 
Um, use as an opportunity to la maybe later um, take get some like recon infantry into his base to mm -hmm. go CV hunt. Um, what we need to worry about now though is we know he has a peace peasant, so we, our tanks can't be that far out. Yeah. And they're sitting very exposed here. Mm-hmm. Alright, so we have our CV coming. We're doing great so far. Plane. Peace pheasant. Yep. We got the tenor C. That's expensive kill. Nice. Good job. He's three left. So sneak around, sneak around with a legion to get side shots on anything he has. We don't want, we don't want to take him front on. Yep. Okay. Guy's got a lot of helos. Let's get some, ba let's get some base defense so that we don't get a helo to the base and make sure get that infantry into cover or into the town block. And then let's work on finishing off taking over his two pointer so we can see be that. Here they come. It's two J's only, they're not that deadly. Right, we just don't want to get um Hilo blobbed. Alright, we don't we don't care about this engagement. We care about basically taking over his two pointer. Yep. Yeah. Would you already send a CV then now? No, because we don't we don't know what's in the northern end of his two pointer. Mm -hmm. Um, so we want to secure that and we want to put our CV there because the the northern end where the towns are the line of sight's really really weird. Um, because Eugen never bothered to fix it. Right. So we want to secure that first. Um, so a couple le couple legion, some recon. Um, honestly, now may might be the time to buy a tiger. Um, to go to go secure that when we get the chance. So we'll Sorry, do that. which secure which sector? Um, his two pointer. Oh, there. Okay, I got it. Yeah, we we just want we want to clear out that northern town. That way, we know it's safe to put that CV in. Yeah. Because right now you're denying him the CV location, so you can tick plus two. And we want to keep on using our units. Got it. <laughs> That's a way to destroy halos, I guess. A fire position underneath it. Yeah. If it's not. Moving. No, it's not having any of that. No. Oh well. Come on. Okay. He lost me. Well, you so try to move those commando para um, next to the Milans up to fully lock down that one pointer. Um, nope, the farther one's back. Yeah, there you go. Get that two and get that two a four supporting, and let's start spending some points to get into his two pointer from the long way with Legion. He's spotting the two a four. There's potentially something here. Yep. Yep. Good call. Just make sure to stay zoomed out because he, we know he has three peace pheasants left. Yep. Good. Yeah, you're doing great so far. Thank you. There it is. You got me. Expensive, though. Two left. So, the fact that he's using peace pheasants to kill our tanks and not tanks to kill our tanks means he's not confident in his tank micro. Mm hmm. So, what that means is that you can probably get away with just going with 2A1s until you see otherwise. Right. Good, good call moving those Milans up. Okay, so he's double stacking the K1s there, um, which is fine for us because we have our ATGMs. And if he wants to feed tanks, cool.
Here we go again. Fighter. Steal a hunter, so land the tiger. I'm tempted to get another AA defense just for here. Yeah, that's a good. That's a, actually a really good call. You should get one of the get a Gepard then. Um, Hide it. And get a double stack of Legion to clear out the northern tip of Delta. Do you mean this or here? No, the the other the all the way uh, to the left, far left in Delta. To there. Yeah, you you're gonna wanna you're gonna wanna clear out those towns where the line of sight's really weird. Right. And get your and get your CVs in there. Just K1s again. Alright, he wants to feed. He's allowed. You can pick that tiger up. We don't get hit by the tanks. Gentlemen, maybe open up. And all of a sudden, he has no more K1s. Oh, come on. Well, these are Milan's. I mean... <laughs> Milan's never hit. True. So I do want to be able to push, which means we want at least one tank on the field. Okay. Um, so we don't have to go too heavy. Um, so our perfect tank for this is going to be the 2A1, because he's going straight from K1s all the way to Q Marashiki, and he's not getting that anytime soon. And our 2A1 should be able to outclass him. So you would go for a tank on tank warfare? Yeah. Um, like, you don't. Like, the, the, the 2A1 is going to beat the K1 here. Um, uh, without spend, having you spend too many points. And you're going to still have points left over to spend on infantry to, and then a CV for Delta where you can take plus four on him. Right. Yeah, go deal with that age one, uh, that Cobra. That's a good call. That's a really good call, actually. Is that seed? Yeah. Damn it. Okay, it's no big, no big deal, honestly. Because that that tells us it was down vetted seed. Interesting. It's an expensive well, plane, so he's weak somewhere else. Yeah, and that somewhere else is going to be off in sea the entire map. Shit! Here we go again. Just land. You're fine. I'm over the trees, though. He can't see you. He's trying to find me, though. <laughs> I still hate six. Good lord, can we finally put this K1 out of its misery? Hmm. So what you should do is click, is micro the supply truck. Um, that way you only have ammo turned on, mm -hmm. um, the incoming one. And then what you could do is you have it click on the Milan itself, and then is that way you're gonna only resupply the Milan and only the ammo on the Milan. Yeah. I mean, he's feeding, he's feeding everything into your Legion 90, which is fantastic. Anyway, so it's not gonna matter. Oh, another K1. But that's what you can do for the future. Ooh, a, a big one. Okay. So you could peace turn that if you want. Come on, buddy. Yeah, right. How <laughs> were you supposed to hit that? <laughs> And oh, hey, this, whole, this whole entire time, that one Legion 90 squad has been denying him his CV into his two pointer. And now yeah. you know his ass clear, so you can put a helicopter CV there. Okay, so the tiger's dead, which is unfortunate. No, it's landed. He's, that's the, uh, has rocket pods. Or you may kill it, though, actually. Got it. Nice. Cool, so we so now I get that C V for his two pointer. We don't care about those. We just care about taking him out. Yep. Alright, let's activate let's activate our AMX thirteen uh thirteen. See if we can find anything. Wait for those KAVs to pass. Good call. Oh, he wants to feed some more. More stuff. Forty Yibagun. 
Shame if something happened to it. Such a shame. Alright, hey, that you have an opportunity to get that tiger out of there. So once you hit 140, buy KWS, and then get it, and then get it out. So we want to, we want, we really want to keep that unit uh, alive. Got it. He killed it. There's a, what was that? KAV over there? Yeah. So he has, probably, he has some, some Sichong soon there somewhere. Just fine. He immediately took out the 1390 on the right. Okay. I mean, it's only, it's only 25 points. Not the end of the world. Um, let's focus on his two-pointer, though. We have mm -hmm. the double stack of Legion 90. Um, yep. Let's make sure everything is totally clear in there. Because we know there was a, a spare K FV. And let's get some recon in there, and we'll take him out. Well, what sort of recon would you send here? Um, I'd start with a gazelle cannon, just to make sure that to prevent sneaking. And I have some recon infantry coming up soon. Right. There's another quad stack of something coming here. Alright, no biggie. So Seeds back up. I mean, we're literally doing our plan. We took middle, we took his two pointer, and now we're basically AFKing right now. <laughs> call, I mean, call, call me a prophet, but like, you can see how powerful having mid is. You have such a fast yeah. route into his two pointer. Alright, get that CV into cover, and then we'll worry about dealing with those other things. Unfortunate with the Rima. Kept his Yabu going busy for a little. Well, Come on, fly over the Gepard. It's a nice run. He's not even him. evacing it. No. Fine. I mean, he he wants to feed tanks and he wants to feed planes. What more can you ask for? Well, yeah, consider look, it. Look your two pointer. You you spotted something in the, in, in his two pointer. Sorry, in Delta. Legionnaires haven't fired anything. The cannon spotted is in like the E and Delta, I think. There. Alright, you see it? It's just a KFB, okay. No biggie. <laughs> Alright. Are you full yet Thank from this pad? What? Are you full yet from this feast you've had? <laughs> I think we're not done yet. Ah, there it is. Eliminate it. Right, let's let's make sure not to float. Though. We want to keep up. We want to basically not allow him to do any sort of sneaky stuff. To win. Because mm -hmm. we got 300 points at the moment. You make so it look you, so easy. I mean, yeah, you're like you. You see how much, just a little bit of zooming out, you can actually see all of your units, and you yeah. can see what's happening so much more. Yep. And like you're gonna you're gonna tick out in probably the next minute. I mean, you have a plus. Yeah, you're gonna tick out in exactly a minute. That was a really good job. Having somebody to it, like exactly what to do, really helped. Yeah, I mean, like having having the strategy down. Um, ooh, he's going for this. Interesting. Oh, he's really lucky. Nice. <laughs> nice. <laughs> You're right. lucky. Um. You know, like having being a, having the strategy down and knowing what to do beforehand, and just mm -hmm. having to do the micro is going to really just help you overall. Yeah. There we go. And like you can just see how much of a landslide it was. Yeah. He lost a ton of units there. 
Like, look what you, look at what you killed. He fed all his tanks at the start, and they just kept on feeding planes and tanks again. Yeah. This Milan did work. I thought they never hit anything, but... The Kiyomaru was the critical kill, I think. Yeah. That thing gone, and the 2A4 could work. Mm-hmm. And yeah, there you go. 2A4 then took out the remainder of his tanks. Those are the 25 point ones, I think, right? The yeah. Ones, I, don't remember. I usually use the G variant with a grenade launcher. Yeah, I like that one or the E. So that's the game. Very much thanks to Lord Pi, because without him, I definitely would not have played nearly that good. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed the gameplay. If you want to learn more about how Lord Pi and Victor and several others are coaching people, head over to the Wargame Bootcamp Discord. It's linked down below in the description. You can find it there. You can join them. You can play some ranked games, or at least practice ranked games or other 1v1s, and get some coaching as well. Thank you guys for watching. Thanks to the coaches for their support. I hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you soon for more videos.